What happens when a city goes without a plan for 40 years? It continues a lot of the past practices. The planned growth of the last half century was very much focused on supporting suburban sprawl, growing further into the reserve areas of the city to annex. We're thinning out resources across an ever-growing city. You have neighborhoods in the older part of, of Memphis that were thriving at the beginning of the 20th century, uh, but due to decades of disinvestment, uh, you have large percentages of vacancy, large percentages of decline. Memphis 3.0 wants to look at how we reinvest in those areas and bring those areas back up to be anchors of, of new activity for the decades to come. Anchors are centers of community where we seek to build uh, more dense, walkable, transit-served, mixed-use, mixed-income communities. To identify those neighborhood anchors, we work with community members to look at the assets first of their community and then think about the opportunities and, and then last, of course, the weaknesses. We want to encourage new residents and new visitors to come, but we also want to respect the folks that have been here for a number of years and continue to support those areas and neighborhoods in ways that are smart and equitable and fair uh, to those communities. We wanted communities throughout Memphis to see their, their place and their role in the plan and how community development organizations can help carry out recommendations of the plan. In the aftermath of the recession, we lost our section devoted to long-range planning. We had to build the team back within our office. Our staff engaged over 15,000 uh, community residents and stakeholders, and we could not do that without the help of a large coalition. In a lot of cases, residents were very excited to see that the city was asking them what, what do they want to see in their neighborhood. In other areas, we had to work a little bit to be, break down some of the distrust that had been built from different neighborhood planning efforts before all of our times. We worked with our Urban Art Commission to hire three artists to work alongside our staff as the design team. Artists have a unique way of engaging communities, getting through the trust barriers that a planning agency or a governmental agency may sometimes face. The Memphis 3.0 comprehensive plan effort really energized the planning community in our city. We've been working on a new street plan, a new sewer master plan, a new stormwater plan, a new parks master plan, all of these different related activities that help to align our resources around the core city and neighborhood centers uh, that are identified in the comprehensive plan. We've created two new funding streams within city government, a housing trust fund and what we're calling a community catalyst fund to help move forward uh, activities primarily in those anchors. We've got a lot of tools in our toolkit that are looking towards the future and really supported by what the community members, stakeholders, agency leaders said. These are the things that can make our city more thriving, um, that can encourage density, housing types, affordability needs, and other things like open space. Planning does matter. Planning can change the landscape of your city for the better, and everybody has a place at that table.